The Department of Atmospheric Sciences is part of the School of Earth Society and the Environment and is within the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. The Department of Atmospheric Sciences' vision is simple but all-encompassing, world-class learning and discovery in the atmospheric sciences. To this vision, we teach and conduct research in areas ranging from atmospheric chemistry and aerosols, climate and climate change, cloud physics and radiative processes, convective cloud dynamics and modeling, extratropical cyclones and precipitation, hydrometeorology, hydroclimatology, radar and satellite remote sensing, tropical meteorology and hurricanes, and finally, weather and climate risk. I am a hydroclimatologist and a hydrometeorologist, so that means that I study the interactions between the land and the atmosphere. What we're trying to do is to understand how deforestation of the Amazon forest could affect hydroclimate over the entire continent. And with help from the National Center for Supercomputing Applications, we visualize this water vapor. My group is particularly interested in extreme events, and I'll give you the example of the Relampago project. My team was the hydrometeorology team. We were measuring the floods, and to do this, we used an instrument called acoustic Doppler current profiler. These boats that you use to traverse along the river, and that's gonna give you stream flow. I study all kinds of different cloud systems around the world. We started in the tropics and go all the way up to the mid-latitudes to try to understand the role of clouds and precipitation in the Earth system. The Relampago field campaign was a field campaign that occurred last spring and summer in the southern hemisphere in 2018 to study what we think are some of the deepest and most organized convective systems in the tropics. Our group uses a lot of satellites to measure cloud systems all over the tropics. Being on the ground is really important as well because we can observe the systems with very detailed instrumentation like ground-based radars. The University of Illinois has a wind profiling radar system to measure the wind above the site. It also let, lets us look at precipitation microphysics and that helps us constrain models that help us simulate heavy precipitation or different types of clouds that develop different roles in the climate system. My research focus is developing numerical models that simulate uh, the evolution and the impacts of aerosol particles in the atmosphere. One important metric that we try to capture is the sizes of the aerosols. So there are different instruments that are basically sizing the aerosol particles, but then the other aspect, it's not only size, it's also composition. Some particles form droplets more easily than others, and this has to do with the composition of the particle. Similarly with the modeling, we need to capture the same properties when we model aerosols as well, so size and composition. And, and that is challenging because each particle is different, and so that's one of the reasons why we developed this very high detailed aerosol model where we can look at individual particle compositions and track the particles as they are moving through the atmosphere. My science focus is on climate science, climate modeling, and uncertainty quantification. For the most part, we study how the climate system is changing and what are the impacts for natural and human systems. Some of the climate models we use are very comprehensive Earth system models. We use a, a model called the Community Earth System Model, which is a very high resolution atmosphere model at a 25 kilometer grid spacing coupled to a fully dynamic ocean model. So at these high resolutions or at these fine scales, the model can produce its own tropical cyclones within the climate system. So what our simulations are finding actually is that there are very close connections between short-term extreme weather events and longer-term climate variability that we're really able to now understand and diagnose using these complex Earth system models. I do a lot of uh, papers and probably about half of my research is related to climate. The other half is related to atmospheric chemistry issues, air quality. We're trying to do our own part here at the university. I helped develop a new center, uh, the Center for Urban Resilience and Environmental Sustainability. And CURES is really aimed at helping cities plan for their futures, being able to adapt to the changes in climate that we're going to see no matter what we do. We also as a nation need to be looking at how do we get reduce those emissions that are occurring from fossil fuels. And so I'm also working with people on what kind of solutions might we develop there. 
cities and states are still continuing forward, industry is still continuing forward, because they know they have to play a longer game than just one administration. But we do need to ramp it up. And so it's really important that we do something about these changes in climate that are happening. The students here at the University of Illinois, we try to get them hands-on experience, not only in the classroom, on computers and, and through data science, but also get them out in the field observing weather, because that's really where I think students really get the foundational physics. We involve our students in all aspects of the research process. For an example, nine of our graduate students participated in the Rolampa Gold Field Campaign. Additionally, seven of our undergraduates spent their Thanksgiving break last November helping to collect data. Our hopes for the future is to increase the impact of our graduate program. So we're developing a set of online graduate courses as well as an online master's degree. We also hope to continue to enhance our research and teaching infrastructure. And finally, we hope to continue to take leadership roles in field campaigns around the world to lead high-performance computing initiatives and help with assessments of climate around the world.